All right, Dag Jacks Color Blues here. Actually, ready to get rolling? He just had his uh, surgery yesterday, or day before yesterday. A little woozy, but he came through it nicely. Just had a couple of issues on his gums. He's good to be back, right? You back full strength? <coughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do a, uh, a veal chop, and I'm going to do a... I call it my feshwada sauce. I just... I have black beans... The Brazilian do a fresh water. I got a little bacon, a little bit of sausage. But I tell you what, just cook cook some uh, beans, you know, whatever. White beans, you know, kidney beans, anything. Pinto beans. And uh, I put some carrots, put celery, onions. But there's so much you can do. You know, eat them as a side. You can make refried beans. But this is what I'm going to do, my fresh water sauce with this uh uh, Four Mile River Farms. They gave me a beautiful, some beautiful small uh, veal, spring veal chops. Here, come over here, look. So I want, I want to bread it. So I want to, you know, I want to open up the surface a little bit, you know, so I can get the hammer on it. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do there. And uh, you know, we want the flavor off the bone, so. Okay, so we're gonna season up our uh, our chop. Yeah, I was kind of getting the idea to cut cut the meat away from the bone when I saw the uh, a menu from Chef Vola down in Atlantic City, and uh, my friend uh, Ralph from New Jersey. We we're just gonna meet down there. But had to put it off a little bit. But here. So flour. And the egg. Okay. And the crumbs. So, uh, got a skillet kind of warm. Olive oil and butter. Like I said, you know, the beans, I love them. So we're gonna kind of, uh, Kind of break it down a little bit, kind of smash it down a little bit. It's got more of a nice consistency. Uh oh, look at him. Take a look at him. Take a look at him. You know it's not playtime. Huh? <laughs> Bring that over here. Bring it over here. Get it over here. Jeez. Good to see him back, though, you know. Right, Lakeisha? Mm hmm absolutely. All right, we don't want too hot. Too hot a fire. Just hot enough. You know, Goldilocks. So we're going to slow cook that nicely, and we'll be right back. All right. Look at that now. Oh, look at that beautiful. That's exactly what we're looking for. 
and uh, just let that cook a little bit through because it's pretty much already three quarters away cooked through. I add just a little water because and, and uh, I don't want this too thick. I want to be nice, but kind of uh, mash them down a little bit. There's some good eating right here. So you got nice. You gotta make sure this side is pressed down. See, even a little bit of fat we left on the tail section. Put you know, a small chop. That was like a four or five ounce, four ounce chop. You know, put a nice sauce with it. You have yourself a meal. Okay, so let's plate her up. Shut our fire down. Turn it back over, get the other side back nice and hot. That's it, we're not even gonna put any greenery on it. And move over to the table, take a quick picture of it. This is a veal chop panade. Panade they call is breaded. Pa panade. And uh, we're just, a, you know, make a, essentially like a cutlet, like you would do a cutlet. And uh, just simple breaded over some nice flavorful uh, black beans. You can do white beans. And uh, we'll be right back. Alrighty, righty. My buddy Bruno used to do it. every time he like he's sharpening his knife. <laughs> and uh, the bone, you know, I'll probably put that away for Axel for a few days. Let his gums heal up a little bit. But try them. Black beans. Mm. They're so good for you too. I put a little chicken stock in there when I'm cooking it. I love bread and veal. One more bite, Lakeisha. We'll call it quits, huh? That's my favorite. One more. This is my favorite part right here, the tail. Tail piece, a little bit of fat on it. Mm. Let's clean up that corner of my plate here, if you don't mind. A little piece for my boy right here. We have t-shirts and my uh, blackened seasoning and a CD that I produced with Sam Myers. And we have another CD that's coming up that we produced uh, live at Daddy Jack's, uh, five or six bands. Um, that's gonna become available too. Uh, hats, other memorabilia. Um, it's uh, daddyjacksnewlondon.com. And also check us out on Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com forward slash cooking with the blues we're gonna be doing some uh, live zoom cooking classes uh we're gonna be you know doing uh you know pre-releases on a lot of the videos you get them for a week or a couple weeks ahead before you know we post them up on uh, youtube uh other other benefits uh closer communication you want to comments and communication just uh, check us out all right buddy Hey, this is Daddy Jack's Cooking with the Blues here. Love you all. Having some fun here in uh, Quaker Hill, Connecticut. Hey, hey. Oh, pipe down a little bit.
Alright, peace. Mm -mm -mm. Even Axel can smell it. You know it. Axel. The nose. Oh.